Hi everyone, welcome to Kay's Favorite Things, and today we're going to make a chicken and rice casserole. Now, my ingredients that I am going to use is two cups of rice, and that's not minute rice, it's just regular rice, two cups of milk, a small can of mushrooms, and I'm going to drain those, a can of cream of chicken soup, a can of French onion soup, one chopped onion, I've got a pound of chicken tenderloins, and I cleaned those, washed them, and took the vein out. I've got some chicken rub for my chicken, sedge chicken rub. I've got some dehydrated red bell pepper, dehydrated uh, green bell pepper, and some vegetable oil that I'm going to spray my crock down with. And you can use any type of crock pot. You can even cook this in the oven if you want. So we'll be back in a minute, and I'll show you how we do this. Okay, everybody, we're back. And I've got my rice. I'm going to dump it in here. I've sprayed my pan down with uh, some spray so it won't stick. I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna add my onions. That's about a cup of onions. A lot of people don't like onions, so just don't put them if you don't like them. I've got my French onion soup and I've got my cream of chicken soup. that just a bit and I think I'm gonna have to add a little bit of water to this I'm not sure we'll see with the soup kind of liquefied it liquefies it some but you want your rice to get done and be moist and good I don't like my rice mushy though I like my rice has a little bit of bite to it. Okay, my mushrooms were really big, so I just took my scissors, my kitchen shears, and went in there and cut those. Because I don't like big, huge pieces in there. If you see any big ones, just cut them. Or you may like yours bigger. Whatever floats your boat. And I'm going to add a little bit of these bell peppers that I dehydrated. Not a lot, just a little. And you can add broccoli to this. You can add mixed vegetables, peas and carrots. You can add whatever you want to add. The milk. And some people like to chop their chicken up and put it in here in little pieces. And you can do that too. There's there's so many different ways you can do this casserole, and I've done it a lot of different ways. I just haven't made it in a while. So let me get this mixed up. I think we're going to have to add a little bit of water to this. I've got about a half a can of water. And we'll see how it turns out whenever we get finished here. But that's quite a bit of rice. Okay, I'm going to mix this up really good. Kind of let it soak in a minute. And we'll be back. Okay, everybody. I'm going to add some black pepper. And I'm going to add some parsley flakes to this. Just for a little bit of color. I think we about got it ready. I love parsley. I don't know if y'all do, but I'm going to grow some this year. I grew some last year and I used it all up. But my greenhouse, it didn't last very long in there. I still have some chives in there and some mint and some uh, a few other things. Okay, that looks good. I like my food with a little bit of color to it. I don't know why I always have liked color to my food. So let's put this in our casserole dish. Just dump it in there. And like I say, you can add mushroom, I mean, uh, vegetables of any kind. Uh, but see how pretty that looks? I'm not going to add any salt just because of the soup. So we're not going to do that, but I'm going to add 
this chicken right on top. layer it across there. It's not going to be pretty, I can tell you that, but it's going to taste good. Okay, we're going to put the lid on this and we're going to get it started and we'll be back in a second. Okay, everybody, I've got this going. I set it for four hours on high and we'll see how long it takes and we'll be back shortly. This is my hubby's bonsai tree. I got him for Christmas and we've got it outside in the sun right now. But it's done really well so far and we've got some little blooms. I don't know if you can see those little blooms on there or not. There's one right there. So cool. And there's a sheep growing off of it right there. So pretty. Okay, it's been almost two hours and I am cooking this on high. So let's open this up and see how it's looking. It's looking pretty good. Let's see if we can fluff it up just a little bit. I'm going to take a little taste. I'm going to let that cool down. See that? I don't think it's done yet, but I want to taste it and see how that rice is. Mmm, that tastes really good. But it's not quite done. So we're going to continue to cook it, and we'll be back probably in about 30 minutes or so, and I'll let you know how it is. Okay, everyone, I'm back, and I'm going to taste this. I think it's going to be good. It's still really hot. Mm. It's really, really good. It's not very salty, so if you want to add some salt to it, you can. But it's really good. Let me set my plate down here. So I can cut a little piece of this chicken. See that? Oops, I dropped a little piece on the bar. Mmm, that's really good. That sedgy chicken rub is really delicious. So y'all, look how quick this was. Crock pot. It took three hours on high. It's done. I made some green beans, a little fruit salad, and we've got a nice little meal here. Now with this rice, you can do it multitude, a multitude of different ways. If you just want cream of chicken, you can just put cream of chicken. If you just want French onion, you can do that and make it a little darker. You can use a little packet of the dry onion soup mix and put that in there. So there's so many different ways you can do it, and that chicken is so tender and good. And chop it up and mix it in with everything and you've got your meal you can add your vegetables like mixed vegetables you can add any type of vegetables you like to that sorry I'm still chewing but anyway it's turned out really well I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you make this and I hope you love it thanks for watching everybody bye bye Okay, I just had to come back on here and show y'all, look how much rice and chicken we have left. So if you have a small family, you might not want to make that much rice. 
that will last forever for me and my husband. It's really good. It turned out well. So, see y'all next time. Bye-bye.